Today, I'm going to be doing a power of makeup look. Um, I've seen these videos and I think they're quite inspiring. Um, I think it's important to know that makeup is an accessory. It's something I th like to think of it as like adult play. It's like adult toys. And you know, even though makeup is readily available, I don't think we should wholeheartedly depend on it for our confidence I think everyone is beautiful inside and out in your own way and makeup is just an accessory to enhance what you have so speaking on that I'm going to be doing a power of makeup look in which I'm going to be doing half of my face um, and since I know everyone's literally done a video on the new Fenty Beauty that just that was just released a few weeks back um, but I did pick up some of the products and I have yet to try them because I wanted to do kind of like a first impression so there's a little twist to this um, power of makeup video in which I'm going to be using um, new Fenty Beauty products I purchased the foundation I'm in shade 450 longly spoken about highlighter in trophy wife so i'm going to be doing the right side of my face for that i'm going to moisturize my face i haven't moisturized yet i'm using the l'oreal hydra genius i love 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 this moisturizer it's so good so i will be moisturizing my whole face um just because even though i will be putting makeup on this side like glides on your face. I really just like moisturizers. I love this moisturizer so much. So, so much. I'm gonna do my eyebrow first. I normally do my eyebrow first. So I'm gonna do this eye. This is the Anastasia Dipa Promade in chocolate. And then I also use this Take my spoolie and work on the front of the LA Girl Pro Conceal. So I'm going to be using Fawn today. I usually use Fawn in the winter. I'm just gonna go into that powder now. This powder, I like to just go into the ends and sharpen the, the edges just in case the concealer may have blurred it out. Get into the highly awaited 
Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Foundation. Once again, my shade is 450. The bottom is really sleek and nice. It feels sturdy. I like that a lot. Um, oh, before, before the foundation, of course, priming. So I'm going to be using to prime today the LA Girl. People apply their foundation different ways. Um, I usually use a brush. I don't know why, but ever since I've tried this brush to apply foundation, I haven't been able to use any other because I feel like applying from this angle, a 90 degree angle, gives you more full, more control in like really buffing your foundation into your face. Let's see, so right now I'm just gonna pump it. came out on the fifth pump. I'm gonna start with one pump just because I am doing half of my face. I don't know how much I'm gonna need and I've never um, actually tested out the foundation. pretty though like I love it and I have oily skin so a matte foundation is pretty perfect for me absolutely perfect actually so I don't know if you're starting to see a difference but I am My face that is covered in foundation, you can see it. So I'm just gonna go back. In. Okay, so I think one pump is good enough for half of my face. And since I've used one pump now. Foundation is very natural, like I feel like I don't see much of a difference. But you know what? Maybe I'll go with another one. Definitely a major difference from one coat to two coats. The famous infamous trio. So I have it in I have the highlighter in cinnamon. This is what it looks like. It's pretty. It's so pretty. I got it in suede. Once again, this is how much product you get. Contour stick in espresso. This is what that looks like. Okay, I'm gonna place it under my eyes. I think I'm gonna blend it in with the real techniques. Because I find that it's softer than the beauty blender. So we shall see. It looks like a natural highlight. You know, it's not like the dramatics, like the way a creamy concealer would give you. It's just very like natural. I like it a lot. I think it's really, um, definitely, definitely gives me. Alright, so let's put that on my cheeks 
and then I'm also going to blend it out with the same brush. I'm going to use another side that's not dirty. And I'm just going to the perfect shade for me and it looks like this beauty blender to apply the powder that was a lot. I don't bake I just I just set immediately Just setting um, everywhere I've highlighted. That's simply what I'm do just to make the contour pop a little more. For the contour, I'm gonna set it with my Tarte Amazonian Clay foundation powder in rich sand tap the excess and just set that It's a duo by Nika K and it doesn't have a name but the number is ND006. So there goes blush. And now we're gonna apply the highlight. I'm gonna be using this small brush that I usually use for my highlight. I'm scared because I don't wanna put too much. Oh gosh, I'm scared. I'm scared guys. Oh my god. Place it right on top of that cinnamon stick. Okay. I'm just gonna look. 